And back here locally, this video shot yesterday off Pontevedra Beach shows what appears to be a critically endangered North Atlantic right whale here along the first coast. But tonight, one calf of that species on the brink is dead after a reported run in with a boat yesterday. Our On Your Side team has been in touch with local and federal officials as they work to piece together exactly what happened. Kaylee Tracy takes us there with a look at what might be the boat involved. In the blink of an eye, we wake up this morning and, and have what really feels like a heartbreaking tragedy uh, occur right here in St. Augustine. We want to warn you, these pictures are graphic. According to the Marine Land Right Whale Project Director and officials with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, this right whale calf and a boat collided just outside the St. Augustine Inlet Friday night around 630. The calf washed up on the northern part of Anastasia State Park Saturday. Mike Allier is a volunteer with the Marine Land Right Whale Project. From the volunteer uh, survey teams that operate along the beaches and overlooks. Um, they're frequently spotted anywhere from 200 yards offshore out to a quarter, half a mile offshore. Right whales mate up north then migrate to warmer waters to have their babies and swim close to shore while forming relationships with their calves. Any loss of a whale is has a devastating impact on this species as a whole. I mean, we have less than 400, uh, uh, you know, left and we've had, so, you know, this is our second calf that has died this year. So it's, it's, um, it, it does have a devastating impact on the species. Blair Mace with NOAA says right whales, the most critically endangered whales in the world, are extremely vulnerable to both vessel strikes and entanglement injuries. NOAA says this is believed to be the 22-foot calf and its mom, Infinity, off Amelia Island last month. According to someone on the rescue team, St. Augustine Fire and Rescue and other agencies responded Friday night to a 54-foot sport fisherman boat taking on water in Salt Run, not far from the inlet. Five people on board were rescued with no injuries and said they hit a whale. Mace confirmed the boat that collided with the calf was a sport fisherman boat coming in for the day, but could not confirm that this boat you're looking at was the exact one. She has a stern warning if you're on the water. Stay 500 yards away from whales. It's the law. And if you see any type of whale, call NOAA at 1-877-WHALE-HELP. That's 1-877-942-5343. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side. That is tragic indeed. Police are guarding that whale calf's remains overnight. Tomorrow morning, several agencies will conduct a necropsy on the carcass, collecting samples to learn more about the calf's condition when it died. With the dawn